This hearing was treated like a sporting event in Washington, which is basically what it was. Hundreds of people going to special midday happy hours to watch the testimony. We couldn't resist sending Catherine Lyons, a famous D.C., outside to check on the partying in D.C. Here's what she found. So it's just after 9.30 in the morning, and here in D.C., the best seat in the house isn't necessarily at the hearing. It's at the bar. What time is it? Um, it's party time. We're about to go catch the FBI special. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I think it'll be interesting for sure. A little alcohol helps, right? Well, depending on what Comey says, a little bit more or less will be needed, so that we'll see what happens. Just wanted to be here with, like, you know, a group of people that are just as interested. There's a lot of excitement in the air. It's kind of electric. Um, people have been waiting for this moment for quite a while. Do you think people here in D.C. and at the bar are excited about this? Definitely. I mean, clearly, right? Yeah, clearly. I mean, just take a line over there. Just look at the line. I think that you guys got here in time. Yeah, that one was me. I'll take credit for that. Uber, come here. You look great. Don't be self-conscious. Come here. What do you have to say about today? Sorry, guys. Uh, day off today, I guess. Sick day. <laughs> Thank you. So, Catherine Lyons joins us in the studio to answer a couple pretty simple questions. What, no one works in D.C.? They're in bars in the middle of the day watching TV? I would like to know what jobs that they do have. Federal jobs. Yeah. I mean, that dog clearly has had on-camera interviews before because <laughs> he didn't say anything, and he was smart about it. I'm impressed. How dorky is Washington you know, that a House hearing draws a crowd? you got to love D.C. Only here will we have a politically polarizing situation that brings people together over drinks on a weekday at 9.30 a.m. Were people actually drinking? Yeah, why not? That's right. I think the, the, the more boozing in D.C. than any city in America. I think that's right. I think they started the night before. So did you find any, was it 100% one-sided? No, um, honestly, everybody just seemed knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the situation, and you know the turnout just showed that they were invested, but they wanted to have a good time. Were they cool people? Yeah. They're at the bar at 9 a.m. Of course they are. <laughs> so you got a lot of politically active people with drinking problems. If you want to call it, that. I do want to call it that. <laughs> Catherine Lines, thanks for going out for us. I appreciate it. Of course.